Hello, I was asked to create a repad. I guess that's what this thing's called. I don't know, I was never in the pipe fitting business. But they wanted this to come out a set number of inches and be the same number of inches all the way around. Um, and believe it or not, it's a little bit more to it than I first initially thought. So after I got their little template set up for them, made this you know, fairly easy for them to use with an iLogic form. They can just change these parameters and it builds it. Um, I figured I'd go a next step and uh, post this on YouTube and maybe show a few other people how to make something like this. So first of all, we can't just offset the surface because if I come out two inches, I actually come way out here. Um, or maybe not far enough. But, um, the other thing the user wanted was they wanted to be able to flatten this in sheet metal and some of the first things I tried with lofts didn't work. Um, initially I thought I had this with a sweep but it's not really a sweep because here it's straight and here it's curved so it has to kind of loft from straight to curve to straight to curve back to straight. So uh, interesting little puzzle for something that you would think would be fairly easy. So. Enough of that. I'll just show you how I set this up and um, hopefully you can gain something from this. So this is how I started off. Just started with a cylinder and I named the uh, OD of the first pipe here. Don't worry. Uh, this actually, I'm sorry, this actually is the, the actual flange itself. So the ID of this would be the OD of the pipe because this is the actual flange material. <clears throat> then I cut a hole through it, right? Just a simple sketch again. So far only two circles, maybe three circles. Uh, cut a hole through it. And that's actually my path that I'm going to sweep against. And I decided to sweep a surface um, just so I didn't have to worry about a bunch of extra profiles. Um, so in my first sketch, let me slice my graphics here so you can see what I did. Um, so this isn't true. It probably would have been good enough to just do a, um, an aligned dimension, but I put a little bit of math in um, my parameters just to make it actual arc length. So repad width um, divided by base pipe diameter divided by two plus repad thickness. And then I had to say uh, times one to turn it back into radians. Um, it, uh, if I take that out, it thinks it's inches and doesn't like this value. So I just said times one and that turned it into radians and that satisfied it. And then um, my degrees, can actually read the radians. It does the conversion for me. So that was kind of slick. Um, took me a little bit to get that because it kept going double on me for some reason. I'm not, I wasn't sure what I was doing wrong, but I finally got it right. So, you know, I want um, an arc length of three and my aligned dimension is actually 2.98, which is uh, showing that I have an arc length of three. I think in 2000, 14, there might be an arc length. Yeah, I did this in 2013. So I'm in 14 now. Could have just used an arc length in 14. This user was running 13. Anyway, so there's my one profile. There's my other profile. They're just constrained to the center point. Keeping everything constrained to the center point because that makes this very easy to place in the assembly. You just base everything off that plane to the center of the pipe. It should just... Uh, snap right on top of the pipe for you. So my second series of profiles, surface profiles here, is just two straight lines that are three inches. And you can see I projected this edge. It's not really an edge, but when you um, have your plane running through it, you can grab that edge and do the same thing here. That's the point that I based off of because this is a spline. You can't pick a point off the spline. Um, so I projected off those edges. Did a um, 
loft as a surface. Make sure you pick it as a surface. I have merged tangent faces. And then I picked this edge and that gave me a nice smooth transition. What I did next then was I did a thicken with an intersect. All right, so I said thicken. Just to be safe, I said repad thickness times four. All right, and then I said the intersect option and that leaves me with just this little piece. And this thing flattens just fine. So there's my flat pattern. <clears throat> um, since I named all my parameters, down here I have my repad thickness. That was the, uh, the, the distance between the two circles in this first extrusion, 0.25. My base pipe OD is 15. That's actually the, uh, the bottom of this, right? Which is the um, inner circle of these two circles. Then I have, um, how long should that extrude? Well, it's my connecting pipe OD plus three pad width. And then I said plus five inches just to be safe. Um, really, it could probably just be connecting pipe OD plus three pad width. Um, but I'm just trying to play it safe. Then my connecting pipe OD, that's this inside hole that cut out. And there's my repad width. So in reality, I only have Repad thickness, base pipe OD, connecting pipe OD, and repad width. And then I just, uh, right here, you can right click and add a form. You get this iLogic browser from right here, manage tab iLogic browser. You can right click and add a form. Uh, let's just edit this form so you can see what that looks like if you've never done anything with iLogic forms. Um, and you can find your parameters that you want, and you just drag them over here. And I drug them across, didn't even rename them and the uh, users have a nice form here. And I also added an iLogic rule that uh, simply pops up this form whenever iTrigger is pressed. iTrigger is this button right here. So anytime iTrigger is pressed, that rule fires and all that rule does is pops up that form. Then I can come in and say, well, the Repad width should be two inches. As soon as you tab or click out of it, it rebuilds. Connecting pipe OD should be um, seven inches. And everything should work for you. So kind of cool. Uh, I didn't expect something so simple to end up being so complicated. But uh, it was a good puzzle. And hopefully this is a good solution for you.